Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of simplifying expressions. We will do that with the order of operations in 5 minutes or less. So when you see this very complicated expression here, we don't always go from left to right. There is something called the order of operations. There are certain things we do first, second, and third. You might have heard of the phrase PEMDAS. Sometimes we have a little saying to help us remember these six letters. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But what that means is parentheses, exponent, multiply and divide, add and subtract. Multiply and divide are inverse operations, and so they can be done whichever one comes first, left or right, and same with add and subtract. They're treated equally. And so we have four different layers. We always look at the parentheses first. Now within this expression, we actually have two sets of parentheses. We have parentheses and then we have brackets. And when we're trying to remember which one we do first, which one we do second, this is our parentheses right here. So parentheses look like this. Brackets are a little bit more square. So here are our brackets. Think of peanut butter, P, B. Always take care of the parentheses first. So here is our parentheses right here. 8 minus 4. We only have one operation. In them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. And I'm going to simplify. I'm going to replace the 8 minus 4 with what that equals. That is 4. Now I can get rid of this parentheses. Keep my bracket. So I have 3 times 4 times 18. So I still am in this first row here. I finished my parentheses. Now I can take care of this bracket. 3 times 4. I'm going to go ahead and simplify that to 12. So what I'm left with is 12 times 18. I don't have any exponents. And I'm left with one simple multiplication problem. So we're going to go ahead and line this up like a regular 2 by 2 multiplication. And that is going to give us 216. So simplifying this expression, it equals 216. Let's look at another example. Looking at this expression, you see we both have parentheses and brackets. Remember our peanut butter. So we have deal with parentheses first. Here's our parentheses, 18 divided by 3. So I'm going to rewrite this and I'm going to simplify my first unit there. 18 divided by 3, that is a fact, that is 6. So I'm going to replace that with this. Now I can deal with my B bracket. And so I'm going to keep that 3. But I'm going to go ahead and simplify 42 divided by 6. That is 7. So what I have left is a 3 and then a bracket with 7. And whenever you have a 3 next to a parentheses or next to a bracket and there is no operation shown, it always means multiply. So really, this 3 bracket 7 is the same thing as 3 times 7. Or sometimes we'll show it as a dot. 3 times 7. Anyway, you look at it, your answer is 21. Now it's your turn. Take a moment and pause the video and try to solve these two expressions. When you have your answers, unpause the video and check your work. This first expression, we have two sets of parentheses within the bracket, so we're going to take care of this first set of parentheses first. So let's go ahead and rewrite this, and I'm going to take this 16 plus 34, I'm going to simplify that to 50, and I'll keep everything else the same. You want to make sure you do one thing at a time so you're not overly simplifying or messing things up. So I'm going to take care of my next set of parentheses, so I'm going to have 18 plus bracket 50, divided by, well, 5 times 5, that's going to be 25. So really, I'm looking at 18 plus 50 divided by 25. Well, that's simply going to be 2. And I don't really need the bracket anymore. 18 plus 2, that makes 20. We're going to deal with this parentheses first, because this over here, 4 parentheses 7, it's just another way of saying 4 times 7, because there's a multiplication right there. So we're going to just leave that as it is. We're going to do 4 parentheses 7. We're going to simplify our 4 plus 6 as a 10. So 2 parentheses 10. Now I have two separate multiplication problems here. So 4 times 7, that's going to be 28 minus 2 parentheses 10. And then 28, that 2 parentheses 10 is really a 20, so that's going to make 8.